a lot of people who are really overweight or even mildly overweight uh, who have sleep apnea have more anxiety mm -hmm. because they're not getting rid of CO2. Yeah. Oh, wow. So they're literally suffocating in sleep and they're, you'll see these people, they're mouth breathers. <sighs> not even necessarily just people who are overweight. So it's not good to be a mouth breather. Mm -hmm. um, you don't blow off enough CO2, anxiety yeah, I've goes heard up. You should sleep with like athletic tape on your mouth so you train yourself to breathe through your nose because apparently it's way better for you. Mouth breathing can ruin your body inside and out. It lowers the CO2 level in the lungs and the blood leading to lower levels of oxygen released from the hemoglobin to body cells. When your intake of air increases, it hinders the delivery of necessary oxygen to the cells in your body. Without adequate oxygen, the body tends to gain weight quickly. Obesity can lead to several other health hazards such as heart disease, stroke, and diabetes. Stay till the end to know how you can avoid heart disease by removing bacteria from your teeth. Yeah, I'll do cardio. I do a long run once a week or some long cardio. I do it. Um, I try not uh, mouth breathe the whole time. Can it also change face shape? Yeah, so there's a wild book called Jaws, A Hidden Epidemic by colleagues of mine at Stanford. And they, show, they have these twin studies. One kid grows up in a culture where they eat a lot of soft food, drinking Capri Sun, eating applesauce, baby food. The other one is, you know, got stuck in the jungle or wherever it is, <laughs> and they're chewing on bones and chewing their food. And one kid, these are identical twins, has beautiful jaw structure and high cheekbones, and the eyes look nice and clear. The other kid is like droopy, the teeth are there, and their mouth breathing. They show this, there's one case of this young girl who just, she got a, a pet hamster, I think it was, got a, a uh, allergy to the hamster, and literally took this beautiful young girl and she just her face just starts aging at a rapid rate they get rid of the hamster she goes back to nasal breathing they do a little of encouragement of nasal breathing using the mouth closure thing at night do a little bit of medical tape and like her these beautiful almost like model-esque features come back in this girl hmm. jaw shape and the clearer to the nasal passages mouth breathing can lead to several health issues and if left untreated it can lead to a low standard of life can you believe that something as simple as the way you breathe can lead to serious health complications it can change your entire facial structure to something like a long, narrow face, crowded and crooked teeth, along with poor back and shoulder posture. You know, really, there's no reason why any of us should ever had had, br I had braces, but all your teeth should fit in your mouth, mm -hmm. right? And you should be able to put your tongue on the roof of your mouth with your mouth closed. I can't quite do it. The, your palate should be somewhat wide. Now there's the Jawser sizer is really big in Hollywood. That and peptides are like taking over. Wait, Jawser sizer? Yeah, they these like things where like bouncy mouthpiece. <laughs> yeah, it looks. It, the only problem is it makes people drool. It's pretty gross. But you know, you, it's Those work. Exercise. They definitely work. They change your facial structure. They dilate the nasal passages. You look at somebody who keeps their facial muscles strong. There's and this is for women and men. Their jaw muscles strong. We're not talking about the like you know like. I mean, there's certain people who are like genetic freaks. Like my friend Laird. Hamilton, he's got, you know, his like big old neck and like yeah. huge jaw. Like he looks like a, you know, an actor from the 70s or something. He's just yeah. naturally that way. But people who care about their facial structure, especially who don't want, a lot of people are concerned with like, what's going on with my skin? A lot of women and men are like putting all the stuff on and figure out how to get rid of the droopy eyes. It's actually a facial muscle issue. And had, were they just to do some jaw exercises and focus on not mouth breathing, it completely changes the structure of the face in just two, three months. And there's, yeah, there's like oh, skincare salons called like Face Gym and other places where they're literally giving your face a workout and you'll notice that it's like a lymphatic type of massage. It'll change oh, after one session. So I imagine just doing the training. Mm -hmm. The standard method of treating mouth breathing can be mouth taping. However, it is merely a temporary measure. In order to get the results in the long run, you need to retrain yourself to breathe through your nose. It can be done through a medical procedure known as myofunctional therapy, which consists of a series of simple and pain-free exercises that trains and enhances the improper function of the tongue and facial muscles. The main objective of this therapy is to achieve the ideal oral resting posture, lips close, teeth together, and the tongue resting gently against the upper palate which in turn encourages a person to breathe through the nose. Yeah. So when girls are getting like, uh, maybe this doesn't work actually, when girls are getting filler to like put in, like they have the hollow space or whatever here or Gosh. here, does that, does that? Well, I look at the plastic surgery thing now and it's kind of crazy. I mean, maybe this just reflects my age and my generation, but I see some people with wearing so much dark eye makeup, plus they're getting the cheekbone inserts. They look like skeletons. Mm -hmm. Now that's not, yeah, really listen, everyone's got their taste, especially if they're really lean, you know, and then facial structure is something that can be modified. Mm -hmm. And so the having a, chewing your food, chewing hard foods is something we used to do a lot more. All this slurping down of food and calories we know isn't good from the obesity side, but it's also not good from the jaw structure, teeth structure, face structure, and it's all related, you know? So that book Jaws is amazing. The People can just look it up online if they yeah. want to buy the book, just do, um, you know, Jaws, 
mouth structure, face structure, and then just go images. And you'll see these pictures. And this was known in the 1800s. There was a book called Shut Your Mouth by a British doctor who talked about the fact mm. that people who snore sleep like this, and then during the daytime, they become mouth breathers. He said they become less attractive than the people who are uh, nose breathers. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Fuck. Yeah, it's really interesting. And this is like a zero cost thing, but um, it's not emphasized enough. At all. Yeah. Yeah. It's not I've heard this about is crazy. This. Crazy. crazy. Yeah. I, I mean, I saw random things on like maybe TikTok or Instagram of of uh, people who said, yeah, I started chewing this thing, or maybe it was oh, the, yeah, the hard gum. I thought, yeah, yeah, there was a hard gum. Yeah. And I, was, I, I thought that this was some like, uh, I don't know, just some ploy, some like gimmick. Some TikTok. To, yeah, to get some quick money out of people. But no, this is legit. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And the, there's a, you know, also for avoiding orthodontia, you know, like uh, kids who chew hard food, who have to chew their food, eating real food and yeah. chewing their food, not just peanut butter, you know, slurping down food all the time. According to research, Chewing hard gum can improve your facial structure, as much of our facial structure depends on the shape and size of our jaw and jaw muscles. Chewing hard foods directly affects the shape, size, and density of jaw bones. When a child chews food, it puts pressure on the bones of the jaw and skull, which causes their bone cells to release proteins that stimulate the production of more bone. You know, animals in the animal kingdom have beautiful teeth structure. You don't see the, huh. the, the messed up teeth. They have beautiful teeth structure, and they don't wear braces. Yeah. But they're tearing flesh, and they're doing their mm. thing. We brought this up before. If you look at, like, mummified people from, yeah. like, way back in the day, their oh. teeth are always, like, pretty good. Yeah. And, like, they're not, they don't have all crazy, they're not eating sugar at the same rate, stuff like that. But those are the elites, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know what the I mean? Only the elites got well, chewing on bones yeah, and yeah. things like that. Well, and if people think this sounds like kind of like. Actually, wait, that makes sense. They were probably the ones eating the best food. Yes. The ones having to chew yes. on meat because mm -hmm. it was the rich people that are going to be able to get that meat. Because right. I don't think they were mummifying everybody, right? But I mean, like, people like the bog man that, like, is in, you know, England that got frozen in, like, some bog. Oh, okay. Even like, he has Yeah, it. like, yeah. their teeth are not in the way the Americans' teeth are now. There is solid evidence to show that a soft diet along with some other factors of the Western lifestyle can lead to abnormal development of the skull and face. So then why did why did humans start losing their teeth? Is it like the... Uh, this nice structure, you mean? The, yeah, like you even look back at, you know, old presidents and stuff like that. Like George Washington had all fake teeth. Like what did he start ingesting that's getting rid of... Well, I think back then the problem was that, you know, there was no... I mean, dental care is still a good idea. Yeah. In fact, bacteria in the teeth and not... I'm terrible maybe about sugar, flossing. Maybe sugar too. Sugar and yeah, also right. people not flossing. I mean, flossing and, you know, flossing and tooth care actually improves heart health. Brushing your teeth removes around 60% of bacteria from your teeth, and flossing between your teeth can remove the remaining bacteria and food particles. This way, you will not have excessive bacteria and your gums will be less inflamed, which in turn reduces the chances of heart disease. However, chewing hard food helps your jaw more than brushing and flossing your teeth. This is not pseudoscience. Yeah, I've heard that. Because if you have bacteria living in your mouth, right, and starting to take residence in your mouth and they get into your system, it can cause issues for the rest of your body. Mm. I mean, we, of course, operate as a whole system. You know, I'm pretty bad about flossing. I was one of these kids that had tons of cavities. It was just, and I took decent, I'm going to brush twice a day. I don't know, are any of you three times a day brushers? You get those people. I try to be, those, but I those can't do it. People, they always impress me. They're brushing their teeth after lunch. Yeah, it's not me either. No, flossing and brushing, definitely good um, to keep bacteria out. But it's amazing what, you know, chewing your food really well yeah. will do for a facial structure. Are you struggling with mouth breathing? Let us know in the comments section. If you found this video interesting or helpful, don't forget to like this video, subscribe and press the notification bell so you won't miss any of our future uploads. Until then, take care.